This is Jock's Log Junction, where the A1079 and the A1064 meet in East Riding, Yorkshire. A site known for the substantial delays and long queues due to the two intersections on the A1064. Let's have a closer look at the two intersections. The main problem is the straight through traffic must wait for vehicles turning from the A1079, resulting in long waits and long queues. To solve that, the current proposal involves constructing a new roundabout on the A1079 with extending roads to the north and south. To the north, a new link road will connect to a new southern arm on the regiment roundabout. To the south, a new link road will connect to the existing A164 alignment at Copley Flat. To do so, a new bridge is required to cut down on extra stops. However, the current traffic scheme could have a potential negative impact. The proposed roundabout risks disrupting the current free-flowing traffic on the A1079, potentially leading to congestion. Simply shifting the problem instead of solving it. Here is why. The right turns that used to happen at the great separated Jokeslog junction would now occur at the new roundabout. This shift in traffic flow could interfere with the current smooth movement, likely leading to increased waiting times and longer queues. A replication of this issue we currently see at Dunswell roundabout during peak hours. It often experiences heavy traffic and significant delays during peak times, which is a situation we want to avoid replicating here. So, what is the alternative? We propose network optimization as a solution. Here is the plan. Rerouting the right turn from the A164 southbound to northbound, directly into Victoria Road roundabout. Similarly, the right turn from the A1079 eastbound will be also rerouted into the A164 northbound at Victoria Road roundabout. Second, combine right turns into a single phase, reducing traffic light phases from 6 to just 2. Furthermore, for even smoother traffic on the A164, if needed in the distance future, we suggest adding a U-turn south of Jokeslog Junction. This would reroute the remaining right turns and create free flow. Let's compare network optimization with the current scheme. On the A164, both options solve the traffic problem and provide smooth flow. On the A1079, network optimization maintains free flow, while the current plan could lead to delays and potentially long queues. Network optimization requires no construction, a stark contrast to the current scheme which involves building a new roundabout, a bridge and extending road over 2 km. The optimization can be implemented in just a week, while the current proposal could take up to 3 years. Cost-wise, network optimization is cost-free compared to the 87 million price tag of the current proposal. In summary, the current proposal involves shifting all the turns at Jokes Log Junction to a new roundabout at A1079, requiring the construction of a new roundabout, two new links roads, and an additional bridge. This could impede the free flow on the A1079, leading to delays and queues. In contrast, network optimization simply reroutes two right turns toward Victoria Road roundabout and optimize the traffic light at Jokes Log Junction. This approach not only offers a rapid implementation but also achieves traffic efficiency without any construction costs. That concludes my review of the current traffic scheme at Jokeslog Junction and network optimization as a viable alternative. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, please give us a like, share it with your friends and leave your comments or questions below.